Taurus, are you in a strained connection? Are you in a situationship? What do you need to know about the energy of this connection? So maybe you just need to know where you stand or you need to know should you just move on? Like, what do you need to know about the energy of the situationship you are in? I'm on Etsy for readings, guys, and I'm on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Let's get into this reading for you. Please take what resonates, toss what doesn't, and what is the energy you need to be aware of? So Queen of Wands energy. I feel like in the beginning, this was like a very, like you were attracted to this person. They're very attractive. You're attractive. They're attractive. Like there's a high level of attraction here. Um, a lot of socializing, a lot of communication, a lot of talking, a lot of attentiveness, a lot of back and forth, a lot of this person was really making you feel special um, and, and very important and, and almost like putting you first, putting you first. I feel like the consistency was there and then something kind of dropped or fell off. Um, but there was like a lot of flirting, a lot of like, you know, individual kind of like flirting or individual attention. Um, it always kind of felt like positive. It presented well. It was like pleasurable. Um, you had like a sense of pride. I feel like this is somebody that was like really entertaining, is entertaining, like a great host, somebody that likes to go out you know, have fun, be seen, see different things, like experience different things. Um, somebody with like a lot of energy and a lot of positive energy. But I feel like something like there's an imbalance or there's some type of like power struggle or there's something with b being dominated or wanting to be dominated or domineering. This is somebody that um, has a lot of unhealed um, childhood wounds Okay, and they could be almost a little bit like dramatic when things happen to them. Um, like almost like they can't take one more thing. They're always like five seconds away from like a meltdown or five seconds away from like a nervous breakdown. I feel like this is somebody that has unhealed childhood wounds and unmet childhood needs or they have unmet needs. So I feel like, you know, at times they might be a little bit jealous. They might seem like they're being a little bit selfish. They might be a little bit... Um, like a bad attitude or a little bit negative or um, maybe they're putting a guilt trip or they're stirring something up or they have like FOMO, they have fear of missing out. So they might get jealous if you do something with somebody else and you don't include them um, or, you know, they feel like they're entitled to all of your time and, you know, no one else is almost like they own you. Like there's like this very much like a power struggle for like this almost like I own you. There's ownership. Um and they may overreact. So I feel like if they're playing games with you, I feel like they are their own worst enemy. Um, there's anger there. There's like some manipulative energy there. There's some superficial energy there. So yeah, you could be dealing with somebody that um, their energy kind of turned on you or it will eventually turn on you because they're a bit narcissistic. Love and light.